Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today we're going to be talking about time. So what time does is it returns the elapsed time since the session began, whether that's your editor session or when you hit play. So if we were to get a time node, uh, I'm also going to debug it so you can watch it increment. Uh, and we also plug this into the emissive color just for a bit of fun. We click save. And you'll see this big orb is extremely bright. Um, but if I hit play, it will start again from one. Now the emissive color is two, three, and this will essentially just keep getting brighter and brighter until it reaches infinity or your computer dies. If we wanted to do something a little more useful with this node, um, rather than incrementing it to infinity, we can plug it into a sine wave, which is going to generate a, a sine wave from zero up to one, down to negative one and back to zero based on the input of the time. So if I was to then multiply this by 1000, then you can see that our orb starts to flash very brightly. So it goes up to a thousand, then it goes down to zero and then to negative a thousand and then back up, you know, it repeats. So if we go ahead and we find ourselves a texture, let me find just like a grid pattern. Very good. We're going to use a panner and we'll put that in there. We'll plug this into the base color and we'll set the speed to like 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. So we have a look now, our, our texture is panning, you know, the way we told it to. Um, but you could also add to time using a texture. So if I was to get another texture, and this one will be a cloud noise, and we add this to time, what's going to happen is wherever there is white on the texture, it's going to add a second to the time function. Um, so if we look at that, essentially what it's doing is it's all still panning the exact same way, but the white parts of the cloud noise are further ahead in time than the black ones, which are just the original texture. We could adjust the intensity of the distortion by dividing the cloud texture so that the whites become gray. If you're not familiar with what divide and add and subtract do, I've got a video on that, which I will link right here. <laughs> and so now you can see that it's a little bit less distorted. If I, you know, divide this by 10 or something, it will be much, much more subtle until it's just a little, little bit wavy. So, so far we've used time as a, a fluctuator using a sine wave. We've also looked at distorting time in a panner or a rotator using adding a texture to it. The last thing we'll look at is using time in anything that has a percentage that isn't clamped. So for example, hue shift, usually hue shift goes from zero to one, but you can continue it onwards uh, with, with great effect. So this will just cycle through the colors. We can make it a bit more of a party if we multiply the emissive color by like, you know, a thousand. And now it's, uh, now it's disco time. And we've got a uh, big shiny ball using the time node. So these are just a few little examples of what you can use time for. Just to reiterate, the node itself returns the elapsed time of the session. So when you hit play, it starts at zero and every second it will go to one, then two, then three, all the way up to infinity. You can multiply it to make time go faster. You can divide it to make time go slower. You can alter it with a texture. You can run it into a sine wave or a cos wave to make it fluctuate up and down. There are a million quadrillion things that you could do with the time node, but that will wrap it up for this video. I hope you learned something. As always, uh, hit like and subscribe. And if you enjoy what we do here on the channel, don't forget to check out our Discord if you want 24 seven technical support with Unreal Engine. And also don't be afraid to check out our Patreon if you're interested. With that, we say goodbye. Goodbye.